It's January 23rd, 2004. I'm nearing the end of a long voyage of immense disclosures to the human race. During this period of time, I felt like I was stepping on everybody's eggs that weren't hard-boiled. I don't know what your attitudes will be. The book is coming out late February 2004, Titanic 2000, the millennium. It is the only millennium. It accounts for, in precision timing, the events as they're unfolding today, and with prophecy, stating what will occur in the future. Some of you might immediately say, what is this man talking about? What does he mean by prophecy? For six years, I'm in my sixth year now, commencing in 1998, December, releasing to the public revelations. We're getting actions and interactions and an accounting basis significantly more intricate in their weaving to the general nomenclature of what you receive on the news. I approached the news, media, and everyone, and they were dissatisfied and apprehensive about bringing forward such significant material. The direction of the United States has been abysmal for a number of years, really a number of decades, possibly closer to more than a century. However, through technology, the United States has been able to craft its way out of difficulties and dilemmas. Technology is only endowed in a very small part of the populace for technological war weapons, communication, and whatever. Very few people have that intricate, high technology intellect. Therefore, as you inundate the surface of America with lower intellects attempting to appease your wagering desires, or whatever other desires you have, drug dealing, money laundering, criminal operations, they create chaos that can break apart the cohesion. Instead of having your roads looking like well-paved, facilities that start looking like Central America, South America, India, Pakistan, Iran, other places around the globe. You have not respected what you have been provided. You have not respected me. You have less respected the fact that I am significant, which I don't find insignificant. This book is one astronomical time bomb. You'll never read a book like it again. It's one time, one man, the name Moran. Don't forget it. In that book is prophecy, American direction, disasters, accounting of disasters, and a timing basis never done before and never will be done again supersedes any other book you've ever touched or written. There's nothing equal to it. Enjoy the voyage. It's more than an eye-opener. And it wasn't improperly stated as Titanic 2000, the millennium, as you're marching in the double-O years through one chaotic event after another. Can you depend on your technology to get you out of every fix? It's a big question. Coming up, I don't even want to say. Enjoy the reading. Thank you.